Awesome. Mike's Daily Podcast. This is the second attempt at recording today's show. This has been a Monday like you wouldn't believe. It's been a Monday, Monday. Damn Mondays. It's Mike Matthews, Cafe Anyway, located somewhere in Podcastro Valley, Bont, where everything is n- breaking down. All of my electronical equipment is breaking down. Here at the last place on earth, F- F- episode 1000. Mike's Daily Podcast. 273. 1273. Hey, was there some game last night? Mike's Daily Podcast. I watched part of it. I liked the uh, commercial that had someone. His name was Sal. No, it wasn't. It was uh, Stephen Corral. And he was in a yearbook photo with a mustache, talking to his pal, or someone, Daryl, I think it was, yelling at Daryl. Mike's Daily Podcast. That was a neat commercial, because they took old pictures of the stars and got the stars to voice them, but used computer animation to reenact the old version of the... Like, okay, Jimmy Kimmel, I feel akin to Jimmy Kim. Oh. Because we both grew up in Southern California. We both have German parents. We both got into radio. But he got uber successful and lost weight. And I didn't. He dated Sarah Silverman for a while. I didn't. I guess the list could go on and on and on. He hosted a show called The Man Show. I didn't. And... There, he was in this commercial with his I guess he played the clarinet when he was a kid I guess he was in band And they showed him The other commercial I really liked was Christopher Walken And the wonderful Jimmy Jimmy? Uh, that's Justin is the name Justin Timberlake And Christopher Walken reciting some of the Lines from What was it? Don't be too quick to walk away that one. Dun, 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 That song. And so that was the Super Bowl. And it's been a Monday where everything's breaking down around me. So let's continue. Oh, who's going to be on today's show? And what are we going to do? Uh, we'll do the Michael P.D. and Sanica because this is already an Insanica day. And we'll hear from Madame Rutabaga Valentina by Sibeli, speaking of which. Hello, Michael Masters, Madame Rutabaga. And I own cafe anyway. You do. Thank you for owning this place and making it the wonderful place to work for and re- restaurant where people come in and hang out like they're doing right now. Drinking beverages. That's right, Michael Masu. Ooh. Did we have the Super Bowl on yesterday? You used to not be able to show the Super Bowl at your restaurant or bar because you'd have to pay royalties or pay money to Fox or whoever was carrying the Super Bowl. But I don't know if that's a thing now. I don't know either. Woo. You know what? I I saw a movie over the weekend. Time for my Mike's Absolutely Useless Review. Yeah, the movie I saw was the sequel to Alice in Wonderland. It came out a year ago, Alice Through the Looking Glass, which the book was actually a sequel to the book Lewis Carroll wrote. Look who else just walked in. Hello, Mike. This is Valentino, the banking attendant. And this is by Sibeli. Do you know that? Mike, everything is going to hell in a handbasket day. Yeah, handbasket. Do you know that? Ted Patty third party oh yeah you guys are starting a third party that's right mike we're sick of the politics as usual yeah politics scary yeah we want to start a new party with no politics in it do you know that good luck with that do you know madame ridabega owns cafe anyway and that's the end of our storyline for the characters we had an interesting what was the other oh that was it pretty much for the super bowl oh the the movie had like Johnny Depp in it and uh, Anne Hathaway. Oh, so she already has the most beautiful face, doesn't she? And then when you make her all pale and then make her lips like even like she wore some kind of lipstick, it just made her look so in the Alice in Wonderland films. 
entrancing. And then Helena Bonham Carter, they give her the really big head because she's the queen of hearts and off with their heads woman. Sasha Baron Cohen was in this movie. And the whole time I thought it was Ben Stiller. Shows you how out of touch. Lots and lots of special effects, which you kind of need for an Alice in Wonderland movie, but still, a little too much. I can't take two hours of all that CGI. It drives me nuts. Alan Rickman. I think this was the last movie he did. Uh, he is He's the voice of the caterpillar that smokes the hookah, and then he turns into a butterfly. So he's a butterfly in this movie, and he's flying around. And he has just a couple of lines at the beginning of the movie. He probably had more lines, but I, I, we probably lost him while they were filming the movie. So they didn't get to use him. But they did do a dedication to him at the very end of the movie, which was very nice. Uh, you know what? I had a, a wonderful other thing that I was doing this weekend. So I, I am really sick of people asking me, Hey, how was your weekend? When I never have a weekend. I work a part-time job on the weekend. I work a full-time job. I never have a day off. So stop asking me how my holidays were, how my weekend was. I don't have them. And here's today's podcast picture. But I do have a podcast picture with the wonderful Valentina, the parking attendant, who's right here. Yeah, Mike, we do a picture together, and you drew it, D. Yeah, it's a good picture. Do you know that? I think we had bison. You were on the last picture, huh? That I drew? Yeah, whatever. So that is the podcast picture. See that at mikesdailypodcast.com. Go there and you can also help out the show. There's an Amazon link. Click on that Amazon link. Buy whatever it is you're going to buy on Amazon and that helps us out. Thank you so much. Like whatever you're going to buy. Maybe picture, uh, movies. Like Alice in Wonderland through the looking glass. Which apparently, I guess it bombed in the theater. So that's probably why it's on Netflix now. But the song got really popular. The pink song. Just like fire, da, 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 da. no one can be just like me anyway. Thank you, Pink. Hey, Lady Gaga did the Super Bowl. We're gonna talk about that and how I think Pink needs to do the Super Bowl now. I don't know if she's ever done it before, but we've had Katy Perry, Madonna, we've had all the big females. Uh, we haven't had Taylor Swift yet, though. I don't think she did like a pre-show one year. Beyonce, of course. They thought Beyonce, Beyonce was gonna come out for Telephone. With Lady Gaga last night But that didn't happen So We'll uh, See Maybe in the next year We'll have Pink Cause I love Everything Lady Gaga was doing I've seen Pink do before And I've seen Pink do it better I've seen Pink do it with Backwards and With high heels on No So The MikesDailyPodcast.com Is where you can also find Links to help us out Like the PayPal link And you'll get a special greeting From all the Cafe Anyway characters uh, You'll be coming in Glorious Mike's Daily Podcaster And there's all the past podcast pictures Past interviews All there at mikesdailypodcast.com And you can also call us Through the website There's a phone number there 336-MM-DAILY 336-MM-DAILY And now the segment The Michaelopedia and Seneca the Micropedia in Zanica. I'm going to be honest with you. The high point of my weekend wasn't the Super Bowl. It was texting back and forth for a couple of hours with my friend Stormy Phoenix. And we had an interesting conversation. One of the things I said was, Oh, Jesus. Blank is the most self-obsessed woman on the planet. Her Instagram is frightening. Fill in the blank. Wah, do, 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 do. Wah, do, do, that was a match game PM reference. I don't know if you've ever seen that. Watch it. I think it's on the Game Show Network, Buzz or whatever they call it. And it is hilarious to see the old 70s stars. And sad to think that most of them died of esophageal cancer because they ate way too much and drank and smoked way too much. And it killed them. Uh, so on no, that happy note, but no, they, that is such a funny show to watch. Uh, Betty White is on it. Uh, and uh, where was I going with this? Oh, so yeah, this person that's, that Stormy Phoenix and I know, 
we know this woman who this girl she's only 22 or something 23 and she everything she puts on the internet is a picture of herself all the time selfie she's selfie selfish and I, I just can't stand people like that can't stand it yeah I do a podcast where I turn the mic on myself and inner reflect and show you pieces of my life but I do it because I want you to look into my life and look into how things are similar in your life and ain't this all the sort of the stuff we all go through and why is Mike coming to the party late why is he coming to the cafe anyway late with all this stuff when you've been experiencing it all this time I don't know I like to shine a light on stuff shine a light shine a light on me shine a light on you where was I going with this oh so speaking of shining lights and dancing and falling out of the side of the uh, arena yesterday that was pretty cool Lady Gaga took over the Super Bowl said Variety Gaga performed a medley of her hits ranging from all the way back to 2008 and the album The Fame do you remember how big that album was I got it I ripped the CD off of a friend of mine I go you you got the fame and she said yeah and I go I'm going to rip that and I said and she said and I said all the way to her most recent song Joanne oh that was the one she did on the piano right but she started on a patriotic note she belted out God bless America mixed a little bit of this land is your land in with it beneath the sky of red and white blue lights held up by hundreds of drones yes those were drones and I did I was watching on a crappy TV at my other job my part-time job because I don't have a weekend and yeah that was so I didn't really see that the drones very well but maybe your TV allowed you to see it better she was lowered down to the field which I do not like you know I was talking all about pink and about how she does that whole suspended by wires thing I don't like to see my my performers do that because I'm always worried that especially live that something's going to happen to them because I th- I'm negative like that But nothing happened to her She was completely fine and stable As she came down She did a little flip Burst into poker face She transitioned into Born This Way Dancing aside Her dancers clad in purple Was it a tribute to Prince? Who we lost a year ago? And who is known Well known for doing one of the best Super Bowls of all time Singing Purple Rain In the rain uh, She then sang Telephone People thought Beyonce, who's on the song, on the album, was going to come out for that, but she didn't. Because she's pregnant with twins. Yes, twins. Following that came one of her most recent hits, A Million Reasons, and even gave a shout out to her mom and dad. Oh, that was the reason. That was the song on the piano, I guess. And then Bad Romance. She ended the performance by dropping the mic and leaping off a tall set of stairs. Oh, yeah, and she jumped out of that... Uh, one outfit with all the glitter and into a suit uh, like a football outfit really quick I was impressed because I'm impressed by things like that because it takes me forever to get into in the morning when I'm getting dressed that seems to take forever I even try to shortcut it I'll wear sock my socks already so I don't have to put my socks and all I have to do is put on the shoes it still takes me forever is what I'm saying it's the second year in a row that Gaga has hit the field at the Super Bowl. Last year, she sang the national anthem. Oh, remember how good that was? This year, Luke Bryan did it. He's a country singer, as you might know, because I play him on my show on Country Crossroads Radio. It was speculated that the musician might get political. Yeah, you know, because didn't Beyonce get into some political problems because of the outfit she was wearing last year? And then, don't forget, we had, uh, was it M.I.A.? Flipped off the camera one year And then we had the Told What was the fashion foul The foul up The wardrobe malfunction Whatever we called it With Justin Timberlake Who I mentioned earlier in the show Yes he made an appearance at the Super Bowl again This year With Christopher Walken Uh, And you know Lady Gaga was an avid Hillary Clinton supporter She's been vocal in her criticism of Donald Trump, but she didn't do anything. And all the 
whiny white men conservative talk show hosts went wham. We have nothing to complain about today. What are we going to whine about today? Oh, how about Nancy Pelosi? Because we always got to whine about women as we go outside a cafe anyway. We're bringing you Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcastro Valley. I was born that way. I was born that way. I'm on the edge of the she didn't do I'm your biggest fan till you want me Papa Paparazzi Dalton who I work with he said to me you know I could listen to hours and hours of you not getting the lyrics right to songs Mike I said thank you Dalton who I work with on the weekend because I don't have a weekend weekend wasn't there performing a song uh, I can't feel my face that would have been cool but he didn't oh well hey there was that other contra- well so last year Coldplay performed the Super Bowl and that was horrible I, I talked about it on the podcast right after the Super Bowl last year I did not like Coldplay's performance first off I like Coldplay but their type of music does not lend itself to hey let's party let's go let's dance let's get this Super Bowl going so they had to have Bruno Mars come out who Bruno Mars he killed it one year when he did the Super Bowl by himself but they had to have Bruno Mars come out last year and Beyonce and it was like we got to help out Chris Martin because he's so white <sighs> oh you know you too did the Super Bowl right after 9-11 and there was all the whiny white men conservatives were like oh that was really totally inappropriate that Bono was wearing a jacket that had an American flag lining in it. How dare he? This was going to hell in a handbasket. Well, that's pretty much all I had to say for today's show. I hope things go well for you. I hope you're having no technical problems. But whatever. I think what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. and Or it kills you. One of the two. I don't know how that expression goes. Cafe, I don't know. Anyway. Oh, it's cafe anyway. Sorry. Now I'd like to end the show with a little mariachi music. That was good. All right, that's enough. So Stormy Phoenix and I were talking about mariachi music and about how uh, Richie Valens, when he went to... Mexico learned the music of La Bamba and then brought it back to America and had a huge hit with it. And about when we talked about Lou Diamond Phillips playing Richie Valens in the movie La Bamba and and uh, Stormy Phoenix pointed out to me that Lou Diamond Phillips isn't even Mexican. So we were having an interesting discussion. Stormy Phoenix is Hispanic, a Latina. And we had a wonderful discussion about all kinds of things. This was a great texting. And one of the things we talked about was that selfie, selfish person who luckily has quit working uh, the weekend job that I'm at and, and moved on to her life of whatever, looking at herself in every mirror. And don't be like that, people. Look outward. Look out to the great beyond and, and try and make sense of it. And good luck with it. And I hope... Your basket is ever, ever full with goodness. Next show, it's going to be Shelly Shuhart, Floyd the Foreman, and John Deere the Engineer. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.